information tonight. Police warning about a new scam targeting kids and their parents. Crooks call kids on their cell phones and tell them a parent has been in a car accident, then ask for the parent's contact information. They then put the child on hold and call the parent and say the child was kidnapped and demand ransom money. News 8's Renee Schmiel joins us live from News 8 Control with how to protect yourself from this. Renee? Darren, and when scammers have the parent on the phone, they can then switch over back to the child so the parent can hear their son or daughter's voice as proof of the ransom. Something very scary for families. It's already been reported in Greenwich, and experts now want to warn families all across the state. A scam targeting families. Crooks calling children and their parents to say the other is in trouble. But many kids are on to scammers and are especially careful with their phones. Yeah, I usually just don't answer if it's not from, like, my area. If it's from California, I'm obviously not going to answer it. Experts say that's smart. Don't take calls from people you don't know. If it's important, the caller will leave a message. Getting kids' cell phone numbers in the first place is sometimes as easy as going on social media. Some kids post contact info on their profiles, but many have been warned not to. We do a lot of uh, assemblies about uh, uh, social media and how to stay safe. But even some adults post contact information on social media. Laura Ray Anderson with the Department of Consumer Protection says that's not a good idea, even if you want people you know to be able to contact you. If someone wants to get in touch with you through Facebook, they're going to message you through Facebook. Kids shouldn't put their phone numbers out. Kids shouldn't put their personal emails out. Some scams, like this one, can still be effective. Anderson says it's a way to scare families into giving up personal information and money. But even frightening calls can be a red flag if they come from a stranger. Whenever someone tells you that something tragic is happening or something really serious is happening, but you don't really know that person, that's something that's a sign of a scam. There are steps you can take to protect yourself. Keep social media profiles private. Don't accept invitations to connect from strangers. And never give out any personal information over the phone. And if a caller threatens you, demands money, or asks for personal information, those are also red flags that it could be a scam. Live in News 8 Control, I'm Renee Schmiel. Anna and Darren, back to you.